as we learned this morning, Ian Desmond is signing with the Rockies, and so that definitely has a, you know one less option. Um, you know, we were a little concerned about him being right-handed with how our outfield sets up, so you know our focus is a little bit more narrow, perhaps, than, than when we uh, first arrived. All we're trying to do is get a sense for the cost of all the options. I mean, there's whatever we started with, a dozen or so players we've talked about, and we kind of whittle down to the ones that are realistic and determining what the cost is. That cost for free agents is in dollars and cents, and for trades, it's in it's in players. And it's hard to make a decision on player A until you know what the cost is for players B, C, and D. When you ask these types of questions, and, and as, as Gersh and I have spent with our staff over the last you know four to six weeks, all of this has been things we've been working to, towards. Um, as you know, in the past, we've never been afraid to make a deal in, in November, but we just weren't able to do that. And, and so now we're, we're broaching sort of the midpoint in December. We're uh, on the final day, really, of, of winter meetings, and, and we still haven't accomplished what we've, we've set out to do. So um, clearly, I think the focus of what we want to do and, and what we want to narrow down on has been defined. Now it's, you know, can we get either A, an agreement in place that takes multiple parties, or are we going to have to just continue to, to try, if we fail, move on to the next? And, you know, I, I think we would both agree that we finally have it prioritized, so now we're going to, you know, try to, you know, take that, you know, action plan and move it forward. The, the challenging part is balancing communication with all the different parties, right? You, you're trying to figure out what it would cost to acquire a player without committing to acquiring that player for any particular cost because you haven't figured out what everybody else's cost is and their other teams are all doing the same thing and so we're all sort of having this little dance where we're trying to figure out what our options are, what the different prices are and, and where we want to go. I've never felt, and, and, and you know, Gersh could add to this, but I've never looked at winter meetings as like, you know, look, you have to have a bow on your team and wrapped up before Christmas and presentable. I think the roster building and, and team building is, is really a 12 month a year project and you know a lot of people always want to have their best team ready by April 1. I mean I really think that we always try to think about this as like you know we want our best team that all year but that may come after the trading deadline in July uh, may come when you get healthy at some point in the season but ultimately we don't focus solely on opening day and therefore we don't look at winter meetings as some sort of closure to getting better.